What is going on, everybody? It is Christmas time at the Magic Kingdom, if you couldn't tell by the giant Christmas tree behind us. <laughs> so it's our first time here for the holiday season, so we're going to go check out everything Christmas. Um, we have a boarding group for Tron, kind of missed it, so we're going to go see what's going on with that. And then we'll start the day. Let's go. Christmas time at the Magic Kingdom. It's the best time of the year to be here. I miss when they used to have stuff kind of go across and connect on Main Street. Unless I'm making that up. I know they do it at Disneyland. I think they stopped doing it for the parade floats, but I'm not sure. Could be making that up too. I think it would be cool if Magic Kingdom was decorated in each land for the holidays. Like you could do the classic Christmas stuff on Main Street, but then do like futuristic Christmas stuff in Tomorrowland. And then do like some country western in Frontierland. I don't know. Just my thoughts. I never even thought of that. Like you are in like Main Street area and like it's like all Christmas and then you get out of it and it's like you forget it's even Christmas anymore. Right. Christmas is over. All right, let's see what happens. If we can't get on, no big deal. We've been on what do you think the a few times. Is if they let us in there? The probability, I think, I don't know, 50 50. I think it depends on a cast member, honestly. We'll see. Like 30, 30%. I walked up to the cast member back there. I was like, so we were group four. He's like, you'll be good. You'll be good. Literally didn't even have to explain anything. We're just like, okay. So I just hope it actually lets us scan it. Because, like, on the app, what did it say? It was like, your expired. time has expired. Like, what? <laughs> um, so, thanks, but, Jack. But even then, like, one, we did not get the notification. You're supposed to get the notification on your phone, which we never got. That is technically true. I'm not lying about that. And two, even when you go on there, it still doesn't even say what groups are boarding. Even, it just says the your time ex expired. It doesn't even say what groups they're on. So, like... And it's like nine, what time is it? 9.30 something? I don't know. It's as soon as we could get here. So I didn't know we were going to get group four. I was mentioning that it would be really cool if they, like when you go to join the virtual queue, if they give you options, like three options to like pick, like one through 10, 20 through 30, you know what I mean? So, cause like we wouldn't make it here in time. We got freaking group four. So it would be nice if they did that. So then, you know, you could kind of pick and make sure you get here on time. Some time okay. slots. Made it off of Tron. Sorry I can never take you on Tron, but no filming. Um, we're gonna go use, I, we got Genie Plus too, so we're gonna go use, our, I'm having a hard time speaking. We're going to go use our first lightning lane on Big Thunder Mountain. It's a thrill ride kind of day. Yeah, we had Space Mountain, but then it was, um, the time was gonna be too soon before we could get here, so change it to Thunder. So it worked out fine. It worked out perfectly because we made it here. We're still able to get let on Tron, and now it's time for this one, so it, it matched up perfectly. Best to remove them. So something new is they just revealed the Hatbox Ghost in the Haunted Mansion, which cool, but I'm not. We're not in a rush to see it. We might go on there today. We'll see what happens after Thunder Mountain. It's just always fun to have something new, I guess. Yeah. Um, like turkey legs. We might be able to get a lightning lane for it. Once we scan in, we'll try to get in a rhythm. Pro tip, as soon as you scan in for your first lightning lane, get on the app while you're walking through the queue and then try to get your second lightning lane. Just get in a rhythm. Tiana's is coming along. We both just said we're super excited for that. I hope they open it on time. I think they said late spring 2024. We'll see. Anyway, Big Thunder Mountain. All aboard.
That was fun. Um, that was really fun. I felt like we were going faster than usual. Uh, yeah. I feel like that always happens. And like whenever we come back and we ride something, it's like, it wasn't always that fast. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Little kid screaming their head off behind us. That was Literally nice. Literally screeching in my ear. Um, we're going to go to the Christmas shop to check on something. And we have a lightning lane in 15, well, it starts in 15 minutes for Pirates. So we get a little AC break. Yes. How lucky are we? that it's been in the 50s and 60s all week. And on our Disney day, it's creeping up. I think we're in the high 70s right now. Yep. We got some nice humidity. It's not terrible, but. It's 77 and like super humid. humid. That's why my hair is already up. Yep. I couldn't handle it. My hair was like all fuzzy. Ye old Christmas shop. Let's have a look. Ooh. That's what you don't know. Got the new Walt statue from Epcot. That's cool. Little heavy. Little heavy. What's he doing? Fixing stuff? Interesting. Let's see what we got over here. We got a little engagement or a wedding Mickey. Oh, I like this one. Chippendale. Oh, this one's cool. These are so heavy though. You'd have to put these either lower or I hope you got a strong tree. Little bell. Bell does not ring, I just found out. We got over here. Oh, these are cool. Seven dwarfs. Looks like they only have dopey and they have grumpy too. That's cool. Oh, these are cool. The storybooks. This is Cinderella. Whoops. Neat. Oh, that's cool. Peter Pan wearing Captain Hook's outfit. We got Alice. Ooh, a Mary Poppins. I do like that. Under the sea. Ooh, Robin Hood. Okay. These are so heavy. All of these are heavy. I can't remember her name, but this is the villain from The Rescuers. Oh, Sword in the Stone. Oh, here's another sword in the stone. I didn't realize that they were this big, the books. Oh, they actually opened. Did you see that? Oh, that's cool. A little pop-up. I don't understand why they want to make a flap. But I didn't realize that they were this big. They're heavy. It's falling right off their tree. Oh, this one's cool. 101 Dalmatians, and he's watching Thunderbolt. Get, get him, Thunder. So this is different. It says Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. They have one you can actually open up. So what's inside? It's a poison apple. So this is an ornament, but at least you get a cool case with it. Oh yeah, that's like 10 pounds. I love this one. So cute. We have enough Ariel, so she's very yeah. cute. He's a cat dad. We're looking at some of the merch in the pirate shop. This is a piggy bank. I guess it lights up. I don't think you can. But that's the uh, the guy right before you take your picture. So we have like an hour to kill. So we're gonna go back to Main Street, take some pictures, check out some Christmas merchandise, yeah. and have fun. And I just wanted to say, try to be nice. 
if you see like someone trying to take like a photo, there was like four people and she was going to take a photo of just the two of them and they were going to swap to take a photo of the two of them. But they were together as a group. So I was like, oh, I can take one of all four of you guys if you want. She's like, oh, really? Thank you so much. Like, and then she offered to take a picture of us because we're just two people. So we can't ever get photos of each other unless we do a photo pass. So it's just nice. Just be nice. Do it. <laughs> Checking out some of the Christmas merch. It's really cute. I got, Countdown. I bought the Halloween one from this year. They're kind of expensive, though. Like fifty-four dollars. Fifty-four dollars. I got a uh, Mickey and Minnie down here. Is that Minnie? Minnie yeah, in a little candy look, cane dress. Yeah, they look like vintagey. They're not like completely black. They almost look brown. I like the. I like that look. They're so cute. They would look cute on our couch. You got some Starbucks cups. This is cool. Starbs. Uh, thirty-four ninety-nine for that one. I know everybody likes these. I don't like the texture of these, but it's got a little candy cane straw. Very nice. And these are forty-nine ninety-nine. Wow. Let's see what else we can find over here. What are these? Are these like... Oh, they're greeting cards. And you get envelopes, too. 16 of them. Uh, nineteen ninety nine. Here's what's included. Those are cool. I don't like this color green. Not liking it. And it looks like it's like made cheap. Like, I don't like how you can see the lines and stuff. It just looks like cheesy. It's too... It's like almost lime green. This is fifty nine ninety nine. Ridiculous! You can make that a home, literally. How much are you, Stitch? Stitch is twenty nine ninety nine. Oh, Chip and Dale, and they come together. How much? Thirty four ninety nine. What is that? Uh, a little music, music thing. It, it must, these must turn around. Yeah. That's cool. Probably, what do you think? How much? Yes. 75? Yep, 74 dollars 74.99. This is cool. Sixty-five. That is intense. I do like these little, just like plain mugs. I do like the bowl too. Oh, I do like the bowl. You don't need it, but it is nice. I think that one's like thirty-four bucks. I think if I remember right from online, I might be wrong. It's pretty cool. It's kind of cute if like you like set a table for the holidays. But I just kind of think it's silly at the same time. I guess you just like put your forks and stuff in there and like set it next to the plate. I guess it's kind of cute if you're like hosting Christmas. You get four of them for thirty dollars, but I also think it's kind of silly at the same time. It's like for like a dinner party, it'd be yeah. cool. Is that a table runner? Yeah. Yes, it is. I feel like we can't have table runners. No, we like can't have it. Would mess with it. Especially these little balls on the end. Table runner is fifty nine ninety nine. Got some Christmas clothes over here. You got like a button down. Is this? It almost looks like pajamas. No, I guess it's not. Uh, this one is fifty nine ninety nine. Wow, and that's super thin. I do like the sweater. Very vintage vibes. This one's kind of vintagey too. Not like the modern Mickey. Um, the long sleeve, I don't see a price. Long sleeve is thirty nine ninety nine. so this shirt is actually cheaper than the little thin button down. I would go with that one. What's that? It's a candle, and it smells like gingerbread. And gingerbread candle. Really good. Uh, oh, no. You want to smell it? Yeah. Oh, 
No. Um, this Christmas shirt, they only have extra smalls and smalls left, but I do like it. That one's $29.99. Oh, you can get some Christmas Crocs. Got little gifts on there. That's fun. I do like this one. This shirt's kind of cool. This is different. You got Stitch on there, Peter Pan, anybody on the back. Oh, Genie's on the back. I don't really like the style and you got that. Mickey down there. I like it. It's different. Um, thirty-four ninety-nine seems to be the going rate. <laughs> oh, we got some Christmas ears. I think they light up. I'm not sure. Yeah, they do. They have one of these things. They have the cord to charge it. Not seeing a price on the ears. They they never put prices on the ears anymore. Oh, there you go. $39.99. And of course, everybody's favorite bag, the lounge flies. I like this design. I wish this was on a shirt. This is the back. I like that Genie is getting some attention this year. Um, and this little stitch moves. Wee! This one's $88 and it says it glows in the dark too. I just like that genie's back. I do like this though. I think it's cute. Uh, this red sweater is sixty dollars. Fifty nine ninety nine. Ouch. I'm liking this like simple Mickey collection they got going on. It's like new, but it's it's just simple. I don't know. I like these zip ups. There's a blue one. I really like the black one. It's just simple. Walt Disney World. And it's a zip. I like the zips. I don't like pullovers. Yeah. It's like classic. Is the inside soft? New vintage. But they have tank tops. They have sweatpants. The zip ups. And like, I don't know, retro colors. Got like yellow, orange. Like a salmon, kind of pink, white. It's a purple, a violet, if you will. So we're just having a chill in Tomorrowland Terrace. Nice and quiet. The parade's starting, so got a decent view. We'll be able to see some stuff from here. It's time for our lightning lane for Space Mountain. I wish I could still film on this, but the rules have changed. The camera has to be physically strapped to you. So we'll see you after. I got a really good lunch reservation at the last second. So Space Mountain's having some issues. I don't know what happened. They made all the cast like gather and then told us all to leave, but we're getting a lightning lane, I guess, to come back later. I don't know where I am. I don't know if we're like, okay, now I know where we are. So they gave us one of those multiple experience lightning lanes that we can use I mean whenever you don't have to like schedule a ride for it a couple things on the list of course they never put um, Seven Doors Mine Train on there but Haunted Mansion's on there so that's an option if um, Space Mountain doesn't come back up but we only have 40 minutes until our lunch reservation so I think we're gonna check out the People Mover so we're about to get on People Mover what I'm hoping for is that the lights are on in Space Mountain when we go through since it's down Sounded like it. It sounded like they were checking the track, but I don't know. And then they like huddled everybody together. They were like, like all available gas members. They like went up in this like a stair thing and yeah. it was, like looked like they were going in a spaceship. I'm like, where'd they go to? Secret. Interesting. All right, let's see if uh, Space Mountain opened back up yet. Uh, doesn't look like it. All right. Let's see. See if the lights are on. Don't worry. Your express train keeps on rolling through the future. Right by two of my favorite spots. All right. Here we go. Let's see. 
Lights on. This is Starboard 75, or as we locals call it, Space Ring. Our high speed rocket port to distant deep space destinations. I don't think the lights are on. Looking pretty dark. So the lights were not on, but I think they are testing it. it. Sounded like it was running, but nobody's on it. It's not open yet. We'll see. All right, now we're stuck on the people mover. We are stuck. How relaxing. Monorail. Bay Lake Tower over there. There's Stitch. Stitch is down here doing stuff. Help us, Stitch. Attention all people mover passengers, please remain seated with all hands, arms, feet, and legs inside the vehicles. Vehicle bumping may occur. All right. Managed to get a last minute reservation at Skipper Canteen. We like it here. We have been seated. I think you already know what you want. Yeah, every single time. Do you remember what it's called? Uh, it's like something, it's uh, called chicken or something like that. Tastes like chicken, chicken because it is. Are you gonna try something new? I might, or I might get this. So this is crispy fried chicken, um, honey harissa vinaigrette. I thought it was chili sauce. Hmm. It used to be, uh-oh. Uh-oh. This has changed. Not good. Hmm. Maybe I'm not getting that. Um, but yeah, they have all kinds of stuff. Beverages, appetizers. Um, this is one of the places in Magic Kingdom where you can actually get alcoholic beverage too. It's pretty loud in here. Our whole thing changed. It used to be like carrots for the vegetables. Now it's like grits and stuff. Is it maybe different for the lunch menu? Hmm. So we have a good server who's making a lot of accommodations for us. Basically, our favorite dish was a fried chicken with chili sauce. Was it mashed potatoes before or something? Yeah, no. white rice with just like, uh, like a stir fry vegetables with like carrots and stuff in it. And now it's grits. And like grits. little like crunchy things with like the corn and stuff. And now it's like grits with, I don't even remember, like something weird. Grits with... Onions, mm. corn, mm. cabbage, yeah. with a vinaigrette sauce instead of the chili sauce. Like, my whole reason why I was so excited <laughs> to come here is because of this dish. A whole entire reason. So he said, based on the amount of feedback they've been getting about this dish, that it's going to be getting pretty much changed back to where it was. We're getting the chili sauce back soon, folks. Yeah, because the only thing is, like, I'm, like, kind of a picky eater, so, like, the, all, all the rest of the choices is, like, um, fish, which I don't eat fish, lamb, which I don't eat lamb, uh, pork, which I'll eat sometimes, but, like, not, like, all the stuff that comes with it is not, I would have to, like, literally change everything. There's, like, a, some stew with, like, some nasty tofu, like, and there's, like, a steak, but it's, like, all the stuff that's on it is not something that I would eat, so, like, the chicken was, like, the, the only thing I eat. So, I'm disappointed that that has changed. So we'll show you what we, uh, what they kind of did for us when it comes. Yeah. Water. Yeah. Cheers. So you can get this beer anywhere, but I try to just only get it at Disney. It's one of my, my Disney beers. Old Elephant Foot. And you got, I don't even remember. It was rum, yeah, rum and sweets. Some bird. <laughs> I got this painting right by our table. Got the Jungle Cruise boat coming out of the tunnel back there. And look at this man looking at the snake. Like, hmm, interesting. This is so interesting. So if you've ever been here and gotten the dish that we're talking about, it's called Tastes Like Chicken because it is. It used to be a chicken breast that was fried and now you get three chicken strips. Um, we didn't like the option for grits, so we both got rice. And we both got broccoli. This is the sauce that's supposed to come on it. I got it on the side. I'm going to try it and see. And um, 
yeah, it's very interesting. Our server is really cool. Um, so. I thought the sauce was supposed to be a vinaigrette. Like that. That's that's the new sauce. I thought the sauce said vinaigrette. It is. It's a honey, a honey something vinaigrette or something. I might try it too, like a little. A little. If you you have to try it first though. So I'm not gonna make this a whole thing. Here's our experience from Skipper Canteen. What we were told is they got a new chef, and the new chef wanted to change everything. The new chef is now... <laughs> anyway, so there's a new chef. Well, there was a new chef. Yeah, it was. The new chef is now gone. And so many people go to Jungle Skipper Canteen, whatever it's called, for the dish that we wanted. It, it's called, it tastes like chicken, because it is. So they've gotten tremendous amounts of feedback and everybody wants the dish back to where it was. And even the employees though too, yeah. not just the guests. He said also the employees felt the same way and like they didn't like his changes and, oh. Bird. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't like his changes either. So like not just the guests, like it was from all around, which he's now gone so that's yeah. like i mean that's nice that they actually like listen to the guests so our, <laughs> our server his name was matt by the way he was like really good um he said expect the menu to start going back to what it was what do yeah. you say like a month or two yeah and he said not exactly but they did say because we got chicken tenders which so ridiculous for what you're paying i think that dish is like close to 30 dollars or more right um yeah so essentially we just paid $28 each for three chicken tenders, rice, and broccoli. Yeah, and he also said, but he said that they're going to switch back to the, the chili sauce, which that's what it was before, but he said they're going to, I guess, tweak it a little bit, and he said it's probably going to be better, which that's awesome. I'm yeah. fine with that, as long as it's at least a chili sauce. It doesn't have to be the exact, I don't care about that. And then he did say they are going to switch back to the chicken. So it's gonna be like the actual like breast, breast on like a bone, which I normally don't like bone like chicken, but I actually like this bone chicken. It's a white meat chicken, yeah. but it's just on like the bone, like on the outside. So you basically still get the whole chicken. You just cut that part off. Right. This time those chicken tenders, which I mean, the batter was still good, but like for what you're paying They're for, that's tenders. not what you're, like you would think that you would get, you know, you're paying for a five course, like five star meal, but you are, it's almost like essentially like we ate at like quick, like a quick service. Yeah. Almost. And for the price. At the end of the day, the only, if I went there or we, we went there and today was the first time we ever went there, I wouldn't go back there for a no. long time. Or at all. Or at all. Since we've had, we've been there like three times before this and it's always been good. Um, the only, if I was going to rate it like one to 10 today, I would give it a five. And the only reason it would get a five. Five out of what? Ten. Ten. The only reason it would get a five is because of the service. The guy Matt in there is awesome, super accommodating. I thought we were did. doing out of five, but I would maybe say like a four. Like I felt like I said, like the batter of the chicken was still good, but like it, like you're, it wasn't like what we paid for. We didn't get what we paid for. So like the jasmine rice was really good. It had a good flavor. The broccoli was fine, but I was also kind of annoyed by that too, which I just didn't end up mentioning it because I was like, I've complained enough while we were here, which yep. I normally don't do at restaurants. That's normally not a thing that I do. But because I already complained, he did say that he was going to switch it out for, like, um, the, the nasty vegetables that was going to be there for broccoli, carrots, and, like, a green bean-like thing that they do. And we got broccoli. And I only just got broccoli, which it's, like, okay. Like, you would have made it, they would have made it very close to what it was before, but then he didn't bring that either. It was just broccoli, which, I mean, whatever. I was just, like, I'm not, I'm just not saying anything else. Like, it's fine. It's and <laughs> um, my broccoli wasn't even cooked. It was yeah. like, it had the texture Almost of raw, raw broccoli. Yeah. But anyway, so. we're going to use our fast pass that we got um, since we couldn't do Space Mountain. Space Mountain reopened, but we just ate. So we're going to do Haunted Mansion and yeah. check out Hatbox Ghost. But again, the server was really great. He was very nice. They were very accommodating. Like it did come with grits. We, he was like, you can substitute it out for rice, whatever you want to substitute it out for. It came with like, like we said, like cabbage, onions, all these cabbage. weird vegetables that we don't eat. Onions. He also said we can substitute it out, which we didn't, it wasn't what he said, but we at least still got broccoli, which we both like broccoli, so fine. And then also I got a drink that I 
like because they don't have a full bar for our Magic Kingdom, so like you can still only get certain things. Like normally, I can just tell them like what I normally drink, and then they can just make it. But not this either. was not the case, so that's fine. And like he was still nice about it. He's like, you know, just try it. That's fine. If you don't like it, just let me know. And like he wasn't rude about it. He wasn't nasty about it. Like it, he didn't make it seem like I was like inconven inconveniencing him. Like I even apologized multiple times about like switching out my drink and getting something else. He's like, oh no, like it's no problem. Like he was very nice about it. So they were very accommodating. And like I don't like grits. I don't know about you, but like no, I don't like I'm the good. texture. I don't really like the taste. It tastes very like plain. So like it was nice that they. You know, you can switch it out for rice, and like so, it, did, it wasn't like a total horrible experience. No, just but it wasn't, just like didn't... that meal was just so good. It came with like a stir fry vegetable, with like with like uh, like the little what are those little crispy things like the water chestnuts or whatever they yeah. are with like corn and carrots, and like I said, that sauce was so good. That type of chicken was really good. It was just like one of my favorite meals that we never get to eat there. So like when he got the reservation, I was so excited. So lesson learned: if you if you've eaten at a place and you absolutely love the meal and you haven't been there a long time, check the menu first. Check the menu. Yeah, go on the app, check the menu, make sure it's still the same because they obviously can change stuff. And just make sure because then you, we could have just got something, went, went somewhere else. You know what yeah. I mean? So but, overall, did it meet expectations? Yeah. On a mansion. But I was hungry, so really I was just like, whatever. I'm just glad we have food at this point. <laughs> you know what I mean? So whatever, it's fine. Somebody put a fresh rose on top of Madame Leota's grave. Okay, we learned this the hard way last time. Find the lady with the umbrella, and that's where the door will open. Okay, here he is. All right, hatbox ghost. Woo! And that was it. A year of waiting for a glimpse of a hat box ghost. You know, way back in the day, there was a hidden Mickey on this table. It was even in that official guidebook of hidden Mickeys in Disney. Now it's gone. Strange. All right, off the dune buggy and into a clamshell. Hatbox Ghost is cool. I wouldn't like make a whole. I wouldn't make it a mission to come here and see the Hatbox Ghost. No, because the Ghost ride's too fast. Hey, you do. His placement's a little yeah. weird, and the ride is you know programmed from how it was. So when you do get to see the Hatbox Ghost, your car is actually like turning, doing one yeah. of these. So good luck getting a good picture of it. Yeah, if you're trying I to do tried. That. You should see the two pictures that I took. They're literally so blurry. It's like a it's almost like a blue like light that goes like this across my screen i'm like oh that worked out great it is cool but <laughs> it is cool but um so our cats just texted us so we're gonna start making our way to the front of the park i really kind of want like a treat to bring home i don't know what but or why but like i don't want to eat it right this second like maybe possibly in the car or either at home a little something for later perhaps yeah kind of maybe we can walk all right we have made it back to the entrance slash exit we are making our way out. We did a lot of stuff today. Yeah, a lot of rides. Can't even remember all of them right now. Let's say it was a pretty successful Disney day. Yeah. So if you guys want to follow us any further, stay tuned. I decided to get a little brownie pie on the way out. I'm either going to eat it in the car or wait until we get home, one or the other. We're going to eat it on the couch. <laughs> so we'll see you next time. And remember, if your dreams don't come true, make them. Merry Christmas. Happy holidays.
bonus footage. We're watching Home Alone. And the word is in on the brownie. 5,000 times better than the other brownie that I got at the, the oh, like, couple videos ago from the resort. That, that brownie was so dry, so disgusting. Look at the inside of this one. It's like a lot thicker. It's like, mm. I know everyone hates this word, but it's like moist. It's not like overcooked or like dried out. And it has M&Ms on the inside and like chocolate drizzle on the top. It's really good. I really like it a lot. You heard it here first, folks. It's actually, um... Peanut M&M's. Mm. So get you a brownie pie yeah. from the confectionery on Main it's Street. Really, it's a pretty big brownie for the price. It was like six bucks. And I just ate like, you know, a piece of it. Very good. I'm very, I'm very happy I got it. Okay, that's it.